Well, our mission is to basically take oily water and convert it to clean water. And we do that through using natural biological processes to convert oil into harmless end products. Ships kick out oily bilge waste. The problem is that that's actually the largest source of oil pollution in the oceans today. It's regulated. Shipping companies have been fined $26, $36 million. Some are going to jail because they don't have effective oil water separators. Our product essentially keeps those ships in compliance in a cost-effective manner. Oily water comes in, clean water comes out. It's a green technology because we don't use filters, coagulants, chemicals. Whereas competing technologies are only physical and chemical, and those require uh, disposal at high costs and, of course, an impact of the landfills. Our product has been tested, it's patented, certified, so it's really a pretty simple matter for a larger company that has a need for our type of technology to pick up the technology and globalize it. And that's why we think we can hit numbers pretty quickly because the hard work's been done. Uh, we estimate that we should be in the 30 to $60 million range depending upon when we find a strategic partner. And we're looking at 2013 to find a strategic partner that already has a sales and distribution infrastructure in place that they can incorporate our product and essentially uh, make it global. The cool thing about this is that we just got a phase two National Science Foundation grant as of three weeks ago, and there's a matching program. So not only do we get the half a million from them, but they will match dollar for dollar up to another half a million dollars of each of outside money we bring in. So it's potentially $1.5 million, of which 500,000 would be non-dilutive. The core technology is not only applicable for maritime applications, but we also see that it will have land applications as well. Uh, there's a big uh, uh, problem right now in the fracking uh, world where oil companies are drilling and putting frack water in the, in the ground that can be, have severe consequences. This technology is appropriate for that. We also are expanding this core technology into ship emissions. Uh, the part of the National Science Foundation grant is to develop an add-on product to scrubbers that can remove the hydrocarbons that come out of engine exhausts. No one is doing this right now, and three scrubbing companies have already shown interest in the signed now disclosure agreements to see if we can partner up with them. So it's really the universal applicability of this technology that I think has appeal. We have experience. Uh, we have credibility. Uh, big companies like Royal Caribbean and Carnival Cruise Line don't take chances with little companies like ours unless the technology is superior. And the fact they've bought each of those companies I've mentioned have bought more than one. Some have bought several, and I think that in itself is an endorsement of the technology. So we feel that that's proof in the pudding, that these companies are taking a gamble with a small company like ours over our competitors who may be multi-billion dollar companies because of the superior nature of the technology, getting extremely uh, terrific effluent coming out, low concentrations of oil at a much lower operating cost, 50 to 80 percent less than our competing oil water separated companies. So we think all those things together really uh, paint a pretty good picture of what this technology can become if we have the right partner.